and welcome to our channel. We're the Grace Knit Stitchers. I'm Corinne. I'm Colleen. And next week, or next time you see us, we're going to be with Hannah Dowling, Hannah from Hannah Dowling, for 24 hours of cross stitch. Yeah, so we'll be starting to film that tonight. Mm -hmm. So, kind of exciting. So, we've never done a video with anybody else. Other than Dad. <laughs> yeah, other than my husband. So, I know that some people call this housekeeping. A little housekeeping here. We totally forgot two of our whips. Right. Uh, Colleen knew right away. Mm hmm. I don't know. I, I don't even know when I figured it. mine out. So we'll show Colleen's first since okay. she knew about hers. So, um, mine's Dimensions, gold, the gold collection, Cherry Blossom Creek. Uh, this is the main start of this year. Blue drawing because I don't know if there's a glare. Um, yeah, so I barely have any start on this. The one that's all the kit. That's who how Dimensions is. I'm using it. Ooh, it's so this fabric. I guess the only thing is because I opened it, I. When I opened it is when I started it. Um, yeah. Pink tree at the top. Um, yeah, so I get I just use the, I think it's like 16 count Ada that they provided. So that is my start. I love the pink. I'll just leave that out. Yeah. All right, I have some that needs search too. So, and since I'm searching Hannah's tonight, we just pull the searcher out and do everything. So mine is the Aurora Silhouette. I started this for Whipco. I don't know if it was January or February. Something tells me it was January. I could actually tell you in just one second. I pulled the paper out. Don't put it back in, honey. I know. I'm not going to zip it. All right. I had the paper out. You know, we're totally organized here. What happened to it? There it is. So I started January 3rd. It is a design by Nenny Design. She used to be called Nenny Sweet, N-E-N-I. And I just call it the Aurora Silhouette. Is that the same person? Yeah, exactly. So Aurora Silhouette Lace Black and White Kit. And then um, I'm doing it on 18 count white Ada. So you get this huge piece. I don't even know if this is really antique white. It looks more like off white, like beige. Yeah, cream. Like natural. Look what tomato mine is. Yep. Ah, ha, ha. I'm not using it today. I mean, I'm not doing this today, but I might pull that needle minder off. Um, so I didn't get real far. I got my 500 stitches, which was, you know, my hope to get for, what was it? For what? Whip go. Oh, whip go. Mm -hmm. So I did get that done. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Make sure that this one's all surged up. It is. Um, so I actually cut two of my fabrics because... Oh, you should have seen me going crazy this week. So, since I knew I was surging, I was, you know, making sure I had everything all kitted up that mm -hmm. I should have. And I thought for some reason that the one pattern I had started, and I'm not sure why I was crazy enough to think I had started the pattern. Because I'm going to show you guys, you all, the our kitted up whips at the end of the video mm -hmm. because we have very few. So, it's kind of silly to put out a whole new video so we'll warn you ahead of time so that if you don't want to watch it you don't have to but um some of them are plans because they're on the whip board so that's why they're important yeah all right so that's good so we wanted to mention i've been watching uh lydia's leisurely stitching we have we yeah, we have been watching lydia so we met lydia at uh, stitch farm and she is such a sweet young young woman and uh, she's the one who's doing the haid that I'm doing, the Heaven and Earth, um, a place of her mm -hmm. own. She's doing an 18 count Ada. It's huge. It's beautiful. She's been working on it many years, but her videos are so sweet. But she is not in, uh, what is that group? <laughs> that th Daily 30. Mm -hmm. But she's doing some of those projects on her own, which I think is like, not projects, uh, challenges yeah. on her own and I think that is so cool but I was watching how she's doing um, a small project as her daily 30 you're gonna see that because of CrossFit Studio how far I've gotten on my um, Pledge of Allegiance I'm averaging up to a hundred stitches in a day but it is so dense um, I'm working on the stars right now so many colors because it's like an antique which I'll show you the cover um, but it, I struggle to get that hundred. It's more than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's taking me an hour to an hour and a half to get a hundred stitches, which is hard for me. Um, so anyway, I'm watching her with her small projects, 30 minutes a day and the progress she's getting. I'm like, oh, 
Mm -hmm. How smart is that? Because to pull this big thing out all the time and my big stand for it, which I love my Dubco, which means we're gonna have to go up and get that small Dubco towards the end of our video. Okay. Um, we promised we would show how we rearranged it. Um, still love it, but to pull it out 30 minutes every single day and then put it back so I can work on other things is a bit of a hassle. So I think I'd rather, yeah put the little projects and I thought, so Lydia, thank you if you watch us. Uh, I just thought that was such a cool thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh my goodness. So I just, I had to finish. Do I have it in here? I have it in here. Oh my goodness. It's been a, I feel do you have a finish? Do I? Do you? No. <gasps> First oh, time! Oh, okay. <laughs> First time well, I have a finish and she does She was like, go get your finish. Then I was like, I don't remember finishing anything. <laughs> Ah. All right, so this is my Pocahontas. Okay, I, I'm sure I have a paper on here somewhere here. So I do not know what fabric I have her on. I apologize. I started this like as a whim, um, but I finished it July 16th. So it took me mm, a year and four months, but you know, I probably only worked on it solid two weeks. Yeah. So it was like a little about five six thousand stitches i loved it though i loved working on it but anyway when i was finished working on it what does my husband say to you say to me what there's no outlining it? yeah it, it's completely done well yeah yeah so then when i showed him the pattern he understood so i think from now on when there's not back stitching i'm showing him the pattern first mm -hmm. the cover so then he understands because it, it's so deflating to go, what? It's done? And I'm just like, yes! I worked hard on that. Hard, hard. Um, I wanted to say thank you to Sharon, who helped me find um, the bee from Alexander Adelaide. It actually came today, so I'll show that during haul um, from Alexander Adelaide. And then here's a public service announcement for y'all. Uh, Frosted Pumpkin is having a sale, 30% off all digital oh, patterns cool. starting tomorrow oh so it's friday saturday and sunday it is their seventh birthday oh cool and also if you all left comments and they seem to disappear i apologize um both hannah and tamara i got comments mm -hmm. uh thankfully they're in my email so i was actually able to read them in their entirety and i got notifications from youtube uh -huh. when you go to click on them they're gone and hannah knew it was gone she texted me and said can you read my comment? It disappeared. And she was going to retype the whole thing, but I'm like, it's in my email. I see what you said. So we just chatted. Yeah. So that worked out. But yeah, so I hope that's not happening to other people. And I don't know why it is happening, but just let you guys know it's happening here too. All right. Are you ready for whips? All right. Uh, sure. I'll show my drink. states. Um, do the book. Uh huh. Okay. My states. I uh, can show my cover photo. Um, America the Beautiful by Sue Hillis. Sorry, if there's a glare. Um, I just, uh, I'm finding if we do this. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Um, so I have something cool to show you about this. I don't know if, should I show it now? Your, is it your haul? I mean, yeah, I can save it. No, you can show oh, it. Oh, okay. I'm asking so, if that's what it is. I didn't want to say what it was. Okay. Well, first off. So... The outline of the states, because there's more, like there's the blue colors, but the brown. That's like 838. It didn't look good on the fabric, so I'm using the 839 that they were for the words. The words look boring. Like, those look boring to me. So, I am viewer at Joanne's, and I found some beautiful, beautiful fabric. Or not fabric, uh, thread that I think will go perfect for it. So, like, I should, like, I should have with my family, and they were like, oh, okay. And then I showed my dad, he's like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. This is 4512. But it's just, it's the colorist. C-O-L-O-R-I-S. Mm, okay. So. It's like $2 a skein, but we had a 40% off coupon. Mm -hmm. So it's not like $1.26. Yeah. <laughs> but I tried on the new one. Oh, and here's another question. Um, it says, like, in the whole back stitching, there's a whole page dedicated to that. Um, when it's talking about, there's, there's a, just a long thread connecting for the words that they can't be written in the state because the state is too small 
I want like I want good like people's opinion. Do you, should I use that floss to connect? Because it's only a few states. Oh, use that instead of just like a black. Of... Oh, because it'd be variegated and it'll that show would longer. Be cool. Yeah, I, I like that idea. So opinions, but yeah. Can you just use a single strand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Um, yours, my lips. All right, we're going to start with my Frosted Pumpkin wreath because it's what's on top. Mm -hmm. So that's their sketchy cover photo to say, hey, do you want to join our stitch along? Mm -hmm. This is uh, what I finished this week. I was pleased. I did it in, what, two, three days? Oh, yeah. Um, so it's everything below the snowman. And he has no nose. My gingerbread man has no nose. I mean, it's stitched out. I didn't change anything, but. I just noticed it. So there's one part left. One part. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited to see how this ends up. It's supposed to be turned into a pillow. And I'm contemplating it. Because it's a, it'd be a cute pillow, but then you have to store it away. Right? No, I leave it out all the time. Oh, okay. But our dogs love lying on pillows. So yeah, it'd be in my room. I, yeah. Okay. On the note of Frosted Pumpkin, here's the Cozy Cafe, which I saw in different things that they released it, the different parts. You could change that to say Cozy Cafe. I know. And I don't know if I want to pull it out. And then, so yeah. they actually, today's the 22nd, they released uh, the part early, like three yep. days early. Uh, so Just in time for 24 hours of Frosted. But I have not even done my strawberry lemonade. So this is a plan to work on in 24 hours of Cross Stitch. Um... I'm almost done. I'm not done with our grape, but I am almost so done. So I will be doing it because that's one with go right. is to be caught up. So I have to do it, uh, but I'm glad it didn't wait. Number one, but, um, yeah, I, I like working on it. It doesn't mm -hmm. take forever. So, and I'm glad it released early. Um, it's because it's Ashley's birthday oh. and she doesn't, you know, wanted to make sure it got the out. The birthday. Not that you watch, <laughs> not that you watch it, it, but that would be really awesome. <laughs> All right. And then, oh, my Christmas wreath, I didn't tell you, is on Picture This Plus, 28 count Heartland Casual Linen. And yours was? 14 count Picture This Plus Opal Linen. Uh, I was going to say, I think in the colorway Opal. Yes. I think it's it. Uh, yeah, Ada. Ada. Yes. Oh, I didn't pull out my Mulan. Oh, well. Mulan. Everybody knows what Mulan is. I don't even need a cover photo because she is the cover photo. All I have left are some shadows down here. Got another thousand stitches. She is a big, big part of 24 hours across stitch. I got at least get a thousand, maybe 2,000 on her. I'll show this one quick. I just got a little bit more work done on my gym show puppy. It's like 10 stitches. Not that you'll notice, but I did work on it today. Okay. Or not today, just this past week. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's a Christmas puppy. Do you yep. have the cover? I do. He's adorable. I can't wait for him to be done. Yeah. You're next. All right. So I pulled out for Crystal Academy. I had to get 750 stitches on Enchanted Unicorn, which I do have the cover photo. Hold on. Sorry, I'm looking over. I had it out on my table. I was a little too prepared. So I was supposed to get 750 stitches, but they're tent and I just couldn't put it down. And besides the fact that I forgot to count some of them and I was doing another challenge that I needed an extra 300. So I went for 1800. Yay. So yeah, I think what, in four days, three days, Yeah, three days time, 500 one day, a thousand another and 500 another, huh? no, 800. So 500, 800, 500. This thing's stitching up awesome. And something I have noticed about tent stitch, um, when you are doing something nightmarish like the flag, <laughs> which I'm not doing in tent, but when you're doing something like that, it tent still takes forever. Right. I, again, with my head, I just, I, I just don't like saying that there are half stitches because it's the whole thing. And it really, for me, at least right now with filling in, it's not going faster. No, no, it's not. And um, Mulan, the black part at the bottom is going fast, but that's it. That's still a slow going piece, but that is not. So minis, I know, change color a lot mm -hmm. and max color changes 
colors a lot so i don't mind the whole cheaper one but i mean the whole uh, i don't mind it when the enchanted unicorn which is just a regular color mm -hmm. and it's stitching up nice i love it i absolutely love working on it and that's on a 28 count new khaki lugana okay uh, i started that last year for mania is it my turn mm -hmm. okay i'll say this one doesn't need a cover photo um my fans of the far east by joan elliott it's still coming along with the border I, oh, wait this. I'll just like pan it like that. How about you? Like that? Say, <laughs> so how do you hold it still? Let me move the board. Oh, okay. If you can see the entire thing, I don't know. But yes, you definitely a lot more work on the border. Hold it up this time. There we go. I'll just hold it out so you can see the entire thing. Um, She got me a 502. That's like the outline color, so now I can finish doing that. But then there's like 730, like what's 7, 730 or 729 to go in between just as. I'll say sparkles, dots, whatever. And there's so much messaging. And even the cover photo that on the back of the book, like the back stitching, you can hardly see it. So I just can't wait till I can see it in person because any pictures I find are not good quality and I can't see the back stitching. So sorry, my, my bottle is a little noisy, but my husband calls it my binky because it goes everywhere I go. I dropped my car off for inspection last night and i left my bottle in the overnight car. Yep. i was so upset last night i got home we, we were literally pulling in the driveway and i, went, I left my <laughs> bottle so he, he actually was willing to turn around and go back for it and i went no we're just... i didn't realize how far you were yeah i mean it's coming there's definite progress i mean i'm starting in on the next three stars <laughs> and i'm typing my notebook so yeah there's definitely good progress but slow progress so I probably got about 700 stitches this week. No, it was probably against the wall. Let me show you that cover photo. And I did finally show it to my husband because he's been so annoying me about stitching One Nation. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, I really like that one. I'm like, that's what I'm stitching. Mm -hmm. Well, why aren't you working on it? I am. She's sitting across her and she's like, it is. And, he, and then he goes, it's all green fabric. Yeah, he's like, the fabric is everything. It's full coverage. So we had to explain to him, the fabric's not uh -huh. going to show. I promise you will not see the fabric. Trust me, you're not going to see the fabric. It's Very two quick. over two, 122 count. Yeah. Uh, Do you have any more? Which I had the page. Sorry. Oh, it's in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I found the fabric when I was digging today. It's Celadon hand Hardanger. Hardanger. Don't okay. ask. I have another whip. Um, wow. I pulled this out for the prompts. If you heard from my also on their channels that we had, we're at, I, oh, I just draw like alcove spring? Alcove? Alcove spring, okay, sorry. Uh, so there's prompts, there's five prompts. Do I need to say them? No, I'll tell you what I did them for, I guess. No, no, I already showed some. Anyway, so I pulled this one out and I only got eight stitches in since Mania of this year. Let's do more by Long Duck Santa. <laughs> Long dog samplers. Um, yeah, so it's called it's words of love, and there's something I'm going to change, but I will tell you what I'm changing it to after it's done. But yeah, there was the cover photo. But I also love working with this, so I want to work on it more. Mm -hmm. And it looks amazing. Like I love my choice of the colors, of the fabric, and threads. Okay, over here. I'm a little rough on the throat. Okay. Um, making sure it's all seen. Yeah, it's great. I love it. So I got like three. I love the sparkles. Uh huh. Like, I love how much there is. Yeah. And the, it's like green and blue. I love it. It's Fabrics by Stephanie. Yep. Not Midnight Trist. And the colors are color and cotton. Everest. Not Everest, but just Everest. Okay. So we have a little bit of haul. And we have... Oh, you wanted to show what you made. I, I, I will show. I have one thing. I, since it was, like I would say, a few weeks ago... I want to apologize for not getting back soon because I kept forgetting. So I don't remember who asked. But in the comments, they said something about they wanted uh, the my pattern that, that I did for StitchCon. So the uh, email, right? Mm -hmm. So if you could email us, it's in the gracenotstickers at gmail.com. Okay, so if you could email us, because then we have your email, then I can get it put together to send it to you, correct? Okay, so if you are here to hear that, I'm so sorry for not getting back to you sooner. All right, hold on. Um, so, oh, Carla, 
you can look away if you don't want to see what Colleen made you. But you want to go to show it off a little bit. I, I, I do, because sometimes I forget to take pictures. Okay. We don't know if you want to be surprised when you open the box or uh, it's if your you want to see it here. It's totally your being shown, but I, this is like the first time I'm actually putting like a lot. I did not even count how beads, so I'm going to count before I send it out. Um, but I think that looks amazing. I think I did I think a good job. Did a nice job. I'm I not, like it with all the, uh, I like it with this much bling. Okay. Maybe so I'm you not, can add some to mine. That's the thing. You, you never, you can always add. I mean, it's yeah. kind of hard to take off. But I think that's cool. That's yeah, I'm not. Carla's seahorse. And she did tell us she got it at Michael's. Right. So, so if anybody else is interested. I'm not boasting or anything. I do think it's good enough to have made for somebody. So, like. That's really cute. Yeah. Okay. All right, Carla, we're done. We put it away. Are you going to show your. Yes. Yeah, so my subscription box came. And it sat in like a distribu distribution. I don't even say the word. A center for a while but it finally came so the necklace you see i'm wearing that came i was so surprised i love it and the bracelet i've been wearing i don't know if i wore it in another video but yep this came i love that it's like it's almost like see if they're seed beads like mill hill seed beads almost and then anything that's like a powder or anything i want to use for a cross stitch because i've seen some that's like raised or something but yes yeah. So I put my scissors and I just carry it around the house sometimes. But yeah, I love the green in there. And it's it's very padded. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with it. And as far as us making things, uh, my husband needed something laminated and laminating sheets are this big mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna waste my laminating sheets on one little card. Um, and I've been wanting, needing more of these. So I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. take, time out of your day but whatever just like I had all of mine completely used so I went ahead and spent a little bit of time with my Cricut mm -hmm. printing these gluing them then using my creative memory shapes which um I didn't have my sisters so you only had these shapes I only had this shape I mean I had circles and ovals but I prefer the fun shapes and I think you can get more and I can get more holes exactly so I only cut the holes into like one or two and then my husband went ahead and did the rest. So yeah, you know, so, so I'm confused about the bunch. story. So you came up to the room and then you gave them to him? Yeah. Yeah, because he was like, oh, you're here to see me. And she was like, here you go. Will you do it? Because no, I don't know. He said yes. And okay. Sat for so, two days. Yeah. And I like I was, it only registered when I was almost done when I was hearing that. Yeah upstairs and I was like oh and then he's doing a little bit of kindness this was my last birthday gift oh besides the fabric of the month but mm -hmm. uh, that hasn't come my ginger scissors that I don't know what year this was I she, she had it written on and I got rid of it oh. but it says 2018 on it these are Eleanor but you know I really really like my scissors so um he had bought me these while we were still waiting for the Paris ones but they just came Yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. All right. So we'll show up the kitted. Right. In case you don't want to see it. Um, first, I'm going to show you the two that are actually going to be stitched this year. For is sure. That, is mine here or no? I don't have yours. I have to go get mine. Okay. Go, why don't you go grab yours and the stand? Okay. Somebody has fabric for it. I do have threads for it, but... I don't really have them kitted up. Well, then it's not kitted. So I have those with the threads, but no fabric up there. Maybe we should discuss plans before. Hey, hold. Because mm -hmm. I can delete. Just put this on the floor next to you. If it 
seems disjointed. I moved, I deleted what we just said because we are going to talk about plans before we're going to talk about, right, because, yeah, because um, you probably want to hear the plans before you hear about. It's it's, it's, are we starting at midnight? We are. So I did, uh, did text Hannah, mm -hmm. so 24 hours across it starts tonight at midnight, mm -hmm. which is probably when this will finally upload. Yep. Um, she's coming She's on her way She's now. She's on her way right now. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, we're going to make some pepperoni rolls uh, so that we can have some fresh ones for dinner, leftover ones for lunch, mm -hmm. um, order pizza more night, uh, meatloaf for Saturday night so that we can end on a healthy meal. <laughs> red, but, red foods, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Red sauce. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm with Serge Fabric. Lots of fabric. She's bringing me, she said, 20 pieces, I think. Yeah, I don't like, know. I brought <laughs> I, two you'll see in my kits, and then I found another one. I was like, oh, I missed a side, so I have to search that, and you I just mean, found one. You know, fabric I've bought intended for some fabric sequins. As long as it's already cut. It is, uh, like I bought them cut. No. Oh. I bought them for the project, so. I guess I'm searching a lot. Um, Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll be searching. We're going to be 24 hours of cross stitch. We'll be doing some vlogging with Hannah. So that'll be exciting. Yep. Um, guest star. We're yes. going to start at midnight. We're going to go for like two or three hours. Mm -hmm. That way we can get some real sleep because she worked all day. She mm -hmm. traveled. We've been cleaning all day. And um, then we'll get up and probably start like at 10 a.m. And if we can go until like 8 a.m. Saturday morning, right? we'll have our 24 hours. And then we can nap and have a good healthy meal. Um Probably it'll take a little longer because we'll have to leave time for vlogging, but we'll get up and stitch for another hour or two and yep. be done. So that'll be really exciting. Um, yes. Any other plans? Uh, whip go, I have about done. So I have to work on my oh summer Quaker, yeah. which is plans for uh, tonight. And I'm going to try to finish. I don't think I will, but I'm going to Milan, Cozy Cafe, and Summer Quaker. Okay. What about you? Uh... So it's not for Whip Go because it's just the prompt in the game. I'm working on North Coast Lane. Just want to get that done because I don't, because other prompts I think I will be working on, but I'm working on my hate for the page finish. Gotta get that done. Working on the fans. I don't think I'm going to get it done this month. Um, Crazy Cafe. I do want to work on that. And I want to work on my states just because it needs its 30 minutes. Like my unofficial 30 minutes. Yeah. Good. And... Oh yeah, so I'm going to keep working on Pledge for nine more days. Hmm. Plans that related to Cross Stitch, but I will be applying really soon. I got my application, application so I will turn that in. And whatever else goes on will be done pretty soon. So, so maybe next week she'll be telling you she has a job. I don't know. We'll Hopefully. see. We don't have a second choice yet. So right. <laughs> we're really hoping. Um, so we do have that stand that we will show at the end, mm -hmm. the Dubco Sofa stand. But we're going to go into Kitted, Kitted Up Projects. I'm going to show you right away um, the ones that are planned for this year. Yours is. This yes, because dope. it will so be So go ahead and show you yours. Unfortunately, our... our um, we don't have cover photos. Chatelaines, we don't have cover photos. Um, what are we showing? Your fabric. <laughs> I don't know what stuff came up because I've had it for a while. I know what that is. That's what she bleached for me. Who? Um... Bugs cross stitch. What count is that? It was thirty two. It just got a little small because of okay. her. That's not bad. To dye it. I don't want to do like twenty eight. Like I found, I don't like twenty eight because it's like fourteen count. I'm not fan of fourteen count. I feel like I have to use three strands. Okay, I'll just hold it like this. Like yeah, there's nothing like I don't see any modeling. So just it's, mm -hmm. she bleached it. It's pretty much. It was my, yellow and she bleached it. My Chatelaine, it will be pretty much full coverage. Like there's, they're like a block block or block you saw the photo so but yes i'll put in cover photos for the chatelaines mm -hmm. but i could not for the life of me on our patterns find them at all to print so my paris mandala is boring because i ordered it oh as the kit, as the kit and so you guys already seen this if you watched your unboxing yeah um i thought i saw something dark anyway sorry for the noise um it's white you got black or white basically and i'm not switching on black but i do have all the pretty colors you can see that. And then the rest is DMC. 
Swarovski. Yeah, I got some Swarovski. I don't know if mine's. Sorry. Fully really cute it up, idea. but I got just this is ones that are just fell out of a bag. Um, yeah, they're below. <laughs> um, and then so these are Whipgo 2021 plants. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have this one written down. It's underneath of me. This is going to be my stained glass jasmine by Avroba Cross Stitch, and I have the pattern here. Um, whoops, wrong place here. Uh, jasmine. It says jasmine. Oh, that's it. I have two jasmine. So I hope this is the one I have kitted up. No, I, it is. So this is my jasmine. Avroba CS is the designer, and I'm going to do it on Zweigert 20 Count Lugana. And the, it went dark. Sorry, guys. That's my fault. I know what I did. 20 count um, Angel Blush Lugana. So it's going to be a fast one, I think. I don't know. It's full coverage, mm -hmm. but it's cute. And I thought the Angel Blush was really nice to work on. Um, I bought a whole yard of this a while back and mm -hmm. didn't have a project for it. Yep. And I don't know. I just... I want to work on something pretty, even though it is full coverage. My husband was making fun of me on that one too, because he's like, it's not going to be seen. I'm like, I don't care. I don't like white. I'm pretty sure I counted up. I might have 40 whips on the dot, or 41. I think, yeah. Makes sense? She is a little bit over 50. Well, I didn't count these. Hmm. Uh, Forest Piano. I also have a cover photo for you on, um, on my Kindle. And this is by Pain Free Crafts. I, this will be my first. I fell in love with this. You'll know why. And I had bought a green, but I'm not going to do this on green. Because uh, green on green is probably as bad as white on white. <laughs> so I have potato. Potato Lugana. And it's going to be huge, but that's okay. I'm excited. And that's just 25 count from Zweigert. And the color is potato, mm -hmm. and that will be done in tent. Um, so that's it for the ones that are planned. Mm -hmm. Um, hoping to start at one point. Oh no, one more. I have Mozart Cat, so pretty, colorful cats by the kitten. What's that called? Kitty Me Designs by Pamela Kellogg. I like this because of the music, of course. I um, like the colors. I have no idea. This was a scrap. Mm -hmm. And it was already zigzagged, not zigzagged, surged. And I was just like, hmm, okay. Maybe I surged it. That's my color. But that is also with go. So I have four new starts still to go on with go. And then one. I mean, so I don't know why I didn't do no new starts. I, like, I want to get my Chantelaine's here at some point. I hope it's not December. It could be November, but December I already have quite a few plans, no starts planned, because one is for my birthday, and my birthday happens to be in December, so. And we're doing stitch along, so. Yeah. Um, the next one is by Al Forest. And I'm going to be honest, I had to go back and watch our haul video from your birthday <laughs> to know what this fabric was, because I can't find the rest of it. Yeah, it's all in one drawer, but who knows. This is the colorway shale fa fabric by Picture of This Plus. And my guess is it's 32 count because Lugana, because that's very, she's got, that is where I usually go. So that just kind of makes sense to me. Um, That's the one I have to insert one, one piece of. This is my other Chatelaine. It's called Rose Lights. So again, I will put in a cover photo. I don't have a chosen fabric. fabric. I never did choose a fabric. And it's got all these pretty pinks and greens in it. See all these pretty pinks and greens? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking this rosé. That's what this might have been for, by the way. Oh, was that for my, yeah. Oh, it's for yours. I know. It's definitely. And then I chose not to use it. So I don't know. The pink actually does <laughs> look pretty cool with it. So that's my one option when I decide to start that, which Paris has to be done first anyway. But then I thought, I thought this is my fabric of the month. It's Fieldstone by Color and Cotton. Yep. And I'm like, oh, I, you know, I laid those roses on the greens on top. 
So that might be another option that I never thought of. I like that. Because I'm gonna be honest, my very favorite, you know, Chatelaine has the fabric viewer that you oh, can cool. look at. My favorite for it was the black. <laughs> and there's no way you're doing black. There's no way I'm doing black. I will not do black. So, but that really, really popped and was amazing looking. So, I think with Fieldstone, it would get that look. And with a gray slash slate look to it, like I've seen people where they do those, like, let's talk by hands on design. Like, it's, it would look amazing on like a chalkboard. Like, yes. I'm thinking green, but no, it's black. So, but when people are doing on gray, it looks amazing. So, yeah, I like the gray. Yeah. So that's the end of our kits. And right. Yes. You okay. yours? And then no. we have a little bit of hole. Not much. Just a tad bit. What's this? Oh, I forgot about this. My road okay. stitching um, oh, okay. came in. And that is Storm from the Crosswing collection. That is really, really pretty. I'm not sure. If that's like a sky. It. That is a really that's pretty. That's really cool. That might have been used for Jasmine had I. <laughs> seen that I had that but that I had it inside of another bag so that was my fabric of the month anything else hiding in there yes your Friday fight night Friday night Friday, Friday night, night fight night by um be stitch me be stitch me I just wanted to show you this because mm -hmm. Brandy packaged it up it's such a cute little bag so just wanted to show it she showed me this and I was like wow that somebody else wasn't on the website. And she's like, how do you get that? I'm I'm packaging this so you can see the absolute yeah. fantastic sparkles. So in one person I would definitely say I've heard who always raves about these fabrics is Janet. Yeah. Uh, I've never heard anything bad about them. I know. So my, this is the color Maya by Be Stitch Me. And it's uh, Opal Lugana. And it's 32 count. But, you know, I have that rough... The roughness going against my skin with my fabrics by Stephanie, uh -huh. which is an Ada. So I was like, you know what? I want to give Opal a Less lesson, on a chance. Chance. another chance. Yeah. yeah. So I got that on Friday night, white night. Pretty excited. And then from Garon Stitchery, courtesy of Sharon, I found Save the Bees by Alexandra Adelaide. So I have my collection Yay. for my four kids. I have them all now. And, um, you know, I couldn't just order a pattern, which I wanted to show you. They put it in here because it was with my bag. Oh, nice. And they put it in there so it wouldn't get bent. I thought that was so, so cool. So I also had to order West Virginia. my West Virginia bag. This is where I grew up. So I had to have it. And um, I yeah, rhododendron was our state flower. I did remember that. And the cardinal. But... They don't have Pennsylvania anymore. So Colleen and I did go to Joanne's and get some fabric and one day I'll one make day a bag. You might see some bags. Maybe. Maybe. And then it looks like you have something you want to talk about? Show them. I can do that or do you want me to do this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that should have been under stitchy kindness. Oh, okay. Oops. Um, so on Facebook, there was somebody who wanted to trade Mirabilia patterns. So we already sent one out. It was some fairy and... I really didn't do that. I don't do fairies. It was pretty, but it reminded me of your sleepy. It was an out of print. It was an out of print, and I was just like, I won't stitch on that. So, or stitch that. But she had this one, and I've seen people doing this. I love it. All the others I had, or we were not interested. Okay, in. I'll give you a second to guess what it's called, but it's called Queen of Freedom. And wow, I like Can you it. You hear the noise? Oh, yeah. I have a snoring dog under me. She's a very happy dog because yeah. she's with mom. All right, so I'm gonna have Colleen lift up our dove cow so we can show you Ooh, okay. what we did. So basically you ignore the directions and I took how, it apart. How are we showing this? Um, yeah, we'll just lift it. So I had to take these off and then just swap them mm -hmm. so that the handles, both handles are on the inside. So um, yes, yeah, so if you need it to be smaller, you just swap your legs. <laughs> yeah, and I barely fit. Um, now, I think if I'm wearing my leggings, I'm okay. But if I was wearing jeans, like, it's rubbing against me. And I kind of like to pull my legs up. Like, I'm not just, like, stick. Like, my legs are a little propped up. Yeah. But we, I mean, I, I love it. 
Mm -hmm. And again, I probably wouldn't have gone with the big one if I knew I could. Right. But that's okay. I, I like my big it. one too. Oh, yeah, she likes it. But it folds down so easily. And yeah, so these say, come if, off. if you've got a Depco or you're getting one, if we have somehow enabled you, I don't know. But just when you're moving those layers, layer levers, be careful. Totally. Careful. I have like smashed my pinky in between the stuff. But look how yeah. easily this thing like, folds down. I hurt myself on this. Like thing. that. It's all flat. Uh huh. And those legs here or the arms here pop right off. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome and easy to use and very travel friendly. Yeah. Um, I could definitely throw that you into could my even, bag by Jasmine Ravenclaw. It, you seriously could do that. Um, I don't think I'd use a stitch con. Right, you could disassemble Because your this chair's thing. not that big. Like, I think if you're going to travel with it, it's easy to just have I would just take these off, lay them like that, and throw it in my bag. It, okay. it would go, like, like stick in like that. Yeah, it would stick out, but it worked. Yeah. Anyway, so we're very much looking forward to our evening. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us. We don't ever say that near enough, um, but we feel yes. like we're talking to our friends when we make our videos. Um, some of you feel like family. And we absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, we just feel like you're stitching with us and visiting. I don't know if you stitch. We stitch while we watch. Uh, usually. Floss tube. And sometimes she just because sets her stuff down. Sometimes I just want to watch them to just see their stuff. Because they may show a lot of stuff or just, just the certain person they are or something. Um, but yeah, I find watching movies is so hard because I'm just watching the show. Yeah. Um, but... We want to say thank you for, what is it, liking, subscribing, hitting liking, the bell. Liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. We don't you. say that. I yeah. guess that's the face, not Facebook, um, YouTube etiquette. But yes, if you enjoyed what you watched today, it would be great if you would hit subscribe. And then you'll know when our new videos are out. Right. And I just want to say thank you to some of you who are new. Um, I think maybe because Hannah mentioned us because she's coming. She's like, subscribe so you can watch me. Or whatever uh -huh. just watch their new video so you can see me on it so that's kind of cool um but yes thank you for those who've been with us all the time oh yeah we love talking to you we love your comments we feel like we know you and um i, I apologize so much that i don't know your name but there's the one young woman in england is it it's d-e-n-a yeah dina. dina um who always comments for colleen i love it it she commented for the first time i think to me about my husband's oh. video so that's kind of cool but um yes we so much feel like we know you and your friend family mm -hmm. uh with that we're gonna say goodbye happy, happy stitching, stitching.